Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. I hope you can hear me well. Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to do a crossword puzzle. And this crossword puzzle is going to be about adjectives, usually, or rather, adjectives that you use when describing people. Okay, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. So are you guys ready to play? Um, also give this video a like, that helps me a lot. And last time Marcos Barrera won he guessed many, many Spanish words. So I hope he can join this, join us today. Uh, but yeah, just let me know if you're ready, guys. So as I was saying today, or a few seconds ago, <laughs> we're going to guess different Spanish adjectives, okay? So if you don't know many Spanish adjectives, you're gonna learn quite a few. Uh, you guys gotta guess, you gotta guess around 15 different Spanish adjectives, okay? So, let's see. I don't read you guys, by the way, all the answers or any comments, you can use the live chat for that. And we're live streaming, so I'm going to read what you're sending. And also, we keep score. So whoever guesses, you know, like whoever guesses the most Spanish adjectives, that person is going to win. And if you guess one adjective correctly, you are going to tell me the next number, okay? So you can see the numbers up here, and right here, above everything. So in case you can't see the red numbers over here. Okay, so are we ready, guys? Are we ready? Okay, let's see if someone wants to play. Oh man, I'm showing you all the answers. That's not good. That is not good. Yeah, I showed you all the answers. Guys, what am I gonna do? <laughs> wow, this is like the worst mistake I've ever made on this channel. Do you guys, do you still want to play? Because honestly, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like nobody told me that I was showing all the answers. <laughs> Let's see if you remember the answers, okay? Please do not go back, do not, <laughs> do not go back to the beginning of this video because otherwise you're gonna know all the answers. So let's see who answers first. <laughs> okay, welcome, Mobile Conan. How are you? <laughs> Moses, uh, hello, welcome. Kay Beck, hola. Marcos Barrera, the person who won last, last time, welcome. Uh, okay, so let's see who types fast. I don't know why I showed you everything. I think it's because it's Friday and I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's let's get started. <laughs> okay, so let's do, let me choose one. Let's do five down, okay? Five down, five down. I can't believe I showed you everything, guys. That's just so silly. Uh, hello, Lynette. Uh, 
I think you need to say maestra because I'm not a guy, <laughs> but welcome, Lynette. <laughs> okay, so five down. <laughs> let's see what we can guess or let's see if you have a uh, good memory. <laughs> okay, damn. Okay, so five down. This is going to be a masculine adjective and the adjective is about having well-developed muscles. So how do you call someone who has well-developed muscles? <laughs> Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Tell me. Okay, so five down. That word has uh, quite a few letters. Okay, Quebec, musculoso. Musculoso, that is the correct answer. I feel so bad, guys. I feel so bad. Okay, so let's see. Let's reveal <laughs> the answer. Oh, man. Okay. Um, just one sec. One sec. I just don't want to show the answers again. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. Let's reveal the answer that you probably already know. The answer is musculoso. Musculoso. Okay. And Quebec guessed or <laughs> typed <laughs> the answer first. So the first the first point is for K back. <laughs> I'm just going to put K. Uh, she gets one point. Perfect. Musculoso means muscly or someone who is muscular. Okay. Someone really muscly. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> You're kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, K-Bag says 12 across. Okay, 12 across. Let's see where it is. 12 across. That one is right here. Oops. <laughs> okay, 12 across. This word has six letters. Uh, 12 across. Let's see the definition. This is going to be a masculine adjective. And the definition is covered with hair, especially thick or long hair. In this situation, I would say uh, thick hair, usually, and you can see it everywhere. You know, it's not only your hair, it's also like arms and legs and body in general someone who has a lot of hair how, how do you call or what adjective would you use if you see someone who who is covered with hair <laughs> okay yes yes okay mobile mobile conan has the right answer we're we're talking about peludo Peludo. Okay, so let's see the answer. Oops, the other way around. Peludo. Peludo. That means hairy. Okay, when someone is hairy, you can say someone is peludo. Peludo. Okay, so I'm going to give a point to mobile. Okay, perfect. Now, mobile, please tell me the next number. <laughs> two across. Okay, let's do two across. Two across. That one is right here. 
and this, this word has five letters. This is going to be masculine, okay? Masculine as well. And the definition is having a scalp wholly or partially lacking hair. Okay? When someone is lacking hair, you know, usually over here at the top of your head, how, how, what adjective would you use if you see someone who has, who has no hair over here? <laughs> yes. Okay. Kbeg has the answer. We are referring to the Spanish adjective calvo, calvo, okay, calvo, so that means bald, when someone doesn't have hair, or someone who's losing hair, calvo, okay, calvo, uh, and the point is for Quebec, Quebec, yes, Quebec, perfect, you can also call this person or say that this person is pelón, like Marcus is saying, peloncito. That's like a, a sweet way to call someone, someone who is bald, you know, peloncito. Uh, but yeah, it could be calvo or peloncito or pelón rather. <laughs> okay, so Quebec is saying... Three across, three across. Let's see where it is. Three across is right, right here. Three across, oh, okay, three across, right here. And this word has seven letters, seven. And the definition is, it's going to be a feminine noun, okay? You gotta tell me this in a feminine, in a feminine way. <laughs> it's gonna be fe a feminine way to say this adjective. So the definition is a good looking or attractive person, or in this case, a good looking or attractive woman. Okay, how would you say this in Spanish? <laughs> there are different ways to say this in Spanish, by the way, but we're trying to find an adjective that has seven letters. So that's a little challenging, but yeah. <laughs> Mobile Conan has the answer. We are, we're talking about hermosa. Hermosa. So we can see the answer here. Hermosa. Hermosa. And that means beautiful. Okay? Beautiful. Hermosa. You can also say buenísima, but that is a, a, <laughs> a more, um, how would you say it? If you call someone hermosa, a lady, you'd say to a lady, you are hermosa. It's more polite than saying buenísima because buenísima means like you're hot, you know, a hot person. Uh, but yeah, that's a good word, Marcos. Okay, so Quebec, no, mobile. Mobile gets a point. Okay, mobile, two points. And now mobile says, 14 across, 14 across. Let's see where that is. 14 across is right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lynette is saying, how about chiquita? Uh, chiquita is like, a, um, it's like a name or some something that you could call uh, 
when you like someone, chiquita, it depends. It depends on the situation. But if if a, a guy calls a, a girl chiquita, that could be something like a nickname or something like that that they can use just uh, just to show some love, you know? You're not exactly saying that person looks beautiful. Uh, but yeah, it's just like a cute name to call to your girlfriend or something like that. Okay, 14 across. This is masculine. This is a masculine adjective. And the definition is having a large amount of, ex of excess flesh. Having a large amount of excess flesh. So someone who has some flesh. <laughs> How would you call this? And you got to be careful when you use this adjective, the one that we are guessing, uh, because it's impolite to call someone this adjective. Yeah. Yeah, that is the right answer. Quebec has the answer. Uh, we're talking about gordo. Gordo, okay? <laughs> Gordo. And you gotta be careful when using this adjective because people can get mad if you call them gordo. You know, that's that's a little, uh, I don't know how to, it, it's not, not a good adjective. Um, it's like if you're calling someone fat because gordo means fat, you know, a fat person. So yeah, just be careful with that adjective. And K Beck gets the point. K three points. Mobile two points. That's the score. Okay. K, please tell me the next number. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so K okay, Beck is saying 15 down. 15 down. Let's see where that is. And 15 down is right here. And this word is a long word. It has nine letters, I think. <laughs> so. 15 down, the definition is, it's going to be feminine, guys, okay? Fem a feminine noun, I mean, feminine adjective, and the definition is someone who is small in height. <laughs> Do you know what adjective I'm talking about? And it's... It's a peculiar adjective because I think this adjective is used in Latin America mostly. Okay, so again, there are different ways to say this, um, but no, it's not elegante. It's not chiquita. <laughs> but that's a good guess, Lynette. It's not Chiquita. Okay, Marcos is right, but I said feminine, Marcos. <laughs> what to do, what to do. I think if I'm going to give the point to Marcos, but also to the next person who says this in feminine, in a feminine, in the feminine form of this adjective. No one? <laughs> yes. 
Okay, well, Marcus gets a point. Marcus gets a point because, yeah, that's the right answer. We're talking about chaparra, chaparra. Okay, and that means someone who is short, special, I mean, specifically a woman, a short woman. Okay, so this is not too impolite. You can call someone chaparra and they're not going to get offended unless they don't like their height, right? Uh, but yeah, okay, let's give a point to Marcos. <laughs> okay, Marcos is saying nine down, nine down nine down let's see okay i see it right here and this one <laughs> this one it has five letters and it's going to be masculine masculine guys and the definition is attractive in a pretty way also sexually attractive this is a, a interesting adjective because you can't usually well yeah you can say this to a guy but how would you call someone who is attractive in a pretty way you know <laughs> okay lindo yeah kbeg kbeg has the answer. Uh, K Beck said, lindo, lindo, okay? Uh, bueno, Marcos, is more like hot. If someone is bueno, it depends on the situation again, because you could say someone is bueno and that can mean someone is good, or it could mean someone is hot. I actually, yeah, I have a a lesson about bien and bueno that happened yesterday. So if you want to watch the previous video, I explain uh, more about uh, how to use bien and bueno in Spanish. Okay, so Kate Beck has the right answer. We're talking about lindo and you can call a guy lindo. This means cute when someone is cute. But yeah, in Spanish, you can call a guy lindo. Or a girl, you can call a girl Linda, and that's that that's similar to saying they're cute, you know, and that's totally fine. You don't have to say guapo or guapa all the time. Those are good adjectives too, mi pueblo. Thank you for for saying that. Uh, but yeah, you can call them lindo if they're really just cute, cute people, <laughs> you know. Okay. Um, Let's just give a point to K, and um, I see some good comments. Uh, okay, so Lynette is saying, can you say dulces sueños mi bombón lindo? Yeah, you can say that uh, if you want to say sweet dreams, my, uh, it's pretty much you're saying my cute marshmallow, <laughs> because bonbon means marshmallow. Uh, but yeah, or you can also use bonbon just to say, you can call someone bonbon and it's just a cute word that you can use with your boyfriend or girlfriend, right? Okay, so k Beck says four down now, four down. Four down, that one is right here, I see it. Perfect. Guys, don't cheat. Don't go to the beginning of the video because, I mean, we're learning Spanish, right? What's the point on just going back or cheat or something like that? If you want to learn, well, you should, you should guess, right? Okay, so for down, the definition of this adjective, well, first of all, is going to be feminine. And the definition is of hair, someone who has fair, uh, fair or pale yellow hair. So <laughs> how do you call someone who has yellow hair or 
you know, something like that. A different, some different shade of yellow because some people have really like almost white yellow-ish hair. Some others have like really yellow hair. So how do you call someone who has this kind of hair? Okay, yeah. Mobile Conan has the answer. We are talking about someone who is rubia. Rubia. And good job. You you gave me the feminine adjective. Perfect. Yeah. Rubia means blonde. Um if you want to call you can use obviously rubia is for women, you know, for a woman. And rubio is, if you want to say a guy's blonde, rubio. Rubio for guys, rubia for for women. Okay. Uh, let's reveal the answer. Rubia, rubia. Okay, so mobile gets the point. Good job. Perfect. And that means blonde. Yeah. That's correct, Lynette. Uh, Mi Pueblo says, there's a place called Velez Rubio. Yeah, Rubio can also be a last name. <laughs> Not Rubia, but Rubio can be a last name. That's quite interesting. Uh, Marcos Barrera says, there's a basketball player named Ricky Rubio. Yeah, yeah, as I said, it can be a last name as well. Mobile says... 13 down, 13 down, perfect, 13 down, that one is right here, I can see it, it's a long adjective, and <laughs> the definition, this is a genderless adjective, so it doesn't have a gender, because you can use this adjective um, for women and men, so the definition is someone who is pleasantly graceful and stylish in appearance or manner. Pleasantly graceful and stylish in appearance or manner. I saw the answer a few minutes ago. Some of you uh, typed in already the answer to this adjective. And yeah. <laughs> Lynette. Lynette is correct. We're talking about elegante. Elegante. And that means elegant. So this adjective is really easy to remember because it's pretty much similar to the English word elegant. Elegant. Elegante. You just have to, I think you just have to add a, an E at the end of the word, and that's Spanish, <laughs> elegante, elegant. So I'm going to give the point to Lynette. Lynette, one point. Excellent. Okay, Lynette, please tell me the next number. We have 10 down, 11 down, one down. Okay, seven across, seven across. And that is right here. This word has five letters, five letters. This is a masculine noun and the definition is a good looking or attractive person. In this situation, a guy, a good looking or attractive guy. And someone already said that word, that adjective a few minutes ago as well, when we we're talking about lindo. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. That's correct. 
mobile has the answer. Guapo. We're talking about guapo. And it's right here. And that means someone handsome, a handsome guy. Or yeah, yeah, I, I think that's a, the closest definition, <laughs> handsome. And guapa is uh, the feminine form of guapo. Guapa can mean beautiful. Yeah, it's similar to beautiful. And uh, handsome, guapo. Okay, so mobile gets the point. Wow, K, K has four points. Mobile, four points. Marcos, one. Lynette, one. Now, mobile, please tell me. Tell me a number. Ten down. Ten down. I see that right here. Right here. Okay, so this one is, uh, it has only five letters, so it's, it's not going to be that complicated, I hope. <laughs> uh, and 10 down, it's another genderless adjective, and the definition is having lived or existed for, a, for only a short time. Okay, someone who has lived or existed for uh, only a short time. What adjective are we talking about? Ten down. <laughs> Joven. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Kbeg has the answer. We're talking about joven, joven. We can see it right here, joven. And that means young, someone who is young. And yeah, that's essentially the meaning of this adjective. So K Beck gets the point. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. K, please tell me the next number. 11 down. 11 down and that one is right here <laughs> the definition let's see if it's feminine or masculine first this is a masculine adjective and the definition is having lived for a long time no longer young so the opposite of hoven <laughs> so what's the adjective <laughs> <laughs> yeah, K Beck is really fast. She types really fast. Um, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so, what's the opposite of Hoben, guys? Hoben. Hoben, the opposite? <laughs> That's the answer. We are talking about viejo, viejo. And that means old, someone who is old. And I will be, I recommend being careful when using this adjective because uh, people can get offended, you know? I think in English too, if you call someone old, um, in general, people just get offended if you call them old. <laughs> and yeah, so viejo, it's the same in Spanish. Don't don't call someone old. <laughs> Viejo means old. Okay, Beck gets the point. Now, let's see. We have only three three more adjectives. Please, Kay, tell me a number. One down. I was thinking about that one too. <laughs> you just read my mind. Okay, so one down. That one is right here. 
and the definition it's gonna be masculine and the definition is appealing to look at sexually alluring <laughs> so someone who is appealing to look at <laughs> Marcos Barrera says Tengo 28 años y ya me siento como viejito. 20 years, 28 years old is nothing. Nothing, Marcus. You are young. <laughs> you are young, my friend. So, remember this adjective is masculine. And is about someone who is appealing to look at this is a, a weird meaning but yeah it this is a, another way to say guapo i would say it's a, like a synonym of guapo but uh yeah it's a long word <laughs> And if you're looking at someone, for example, you see someone who is really appealing to look at and you're like, oh, my God, like this guy is really, you know, what's the word? What's the word in Spanish? What's the word? <laughs> Oops, sorry. What's the word? We can see that this ends, this word ends in O. Or with the letter O. Because that's the, and we, we can see, we can see right here that this word also has a C, a C and an O. Lynette, that's a good guess, but it's not guapísimo. <laughs> that's a good guess. That's a good guess. So, do you guys want me to show you one more letter? Yeah. Marcos. Marcos. That's the word. That's the word. We're talking about atractivo. Atractivo. When someone is attractive. Okay? Atractivo. So let's reveal the word atractivo, attractive. And Marcos gets a point. That was a good guess. And it was correct. <laughs> okay. So Marcos, six across, six across. Six across is right here. We can see this adjective has an O, E, and A letters. Okay. Six across. This is going to be feminine. Feminine. The definition is having brown or black skin. You know, if you see someone... If you need to describe someone who has brown or a dark skin, how would you call, how would you say this in Spanish? And you're going to be polite about this. <laughs> and it's going to be feminine. Feminine. Yes. Mobile. Mobile. You're right. Morena. Morena. There is also like good songs uh, that use morena, like that word, morena mía. I just, uh, Miguel Bosé, I think that's a, a, a singer that has a song called morena mía. Yeah, that's a really good song. So yeah, that's the answer, morena. Morena is someone who has brown or some sort of uh, dark skin, okay? 
And uh, this is a polite way to refer or to this ad adjective is a, a polite way to say someone has brown or black skin. Okay. More, morena is uh, for girls. Moreno for men. Okay. So who gets the point? Mobile. Mobile gets the point. Excellent. Okay, so we have only one, 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 one adjective left. And uh, that's eight across. It's a short, a very short adjective. Uh, it has only four, four letters. Let's see. Eight, 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 eight. It's a feminine adjective. It's going to be feminine. And the definition is of great or more than average height. This is quite easy. Remember, it's feminine. Of great or more than average height. Hello, Moses. Yeah, I said hello before to Moses. So Moses is saying, voy a escuchar la canción. Yeah, it's a very nice song. I really like it. Miguel Bosé in general, he's a, a really good singer. I think he's from Spain. <laughs> if I'm correct. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, Marcos has the right answer we are talking about alta 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 and uh that's right here alta that means someone tall alta is feminine alto is masculine and yeah that is it guys this was pretty fast and i apologize but let me give a point to marcos first Okay, so I, first of all, I just want to apologize. I'm so sorry because I revealed all the answers. I didn't know that they were already on the crossword puzzle. I'm so sorry. I kind of spoiled the whole thing. I apologize. I promise next time it won't happen. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we can see. Let's read the score. Uh, K Beck has six points, mobile five points, Marcos, three points, Lynette, one point. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we can see, <laughs> we can see a clear, well, it was, it was almost a tie, Mobile and K, it got competitive, but K Beg is the winner of this crossword puzzle she has won so many crossword crossword puzzles she is a champion and here are some fireworks for you k Beck. thank you so much thank you so much and uh, congratulations k Beck. for uh you know i mean you you won this crossword puzzle and you really know Spanish, you really know how to type really fast, and that's great. Thank you so much for being here, K Beck. You won this, you got this. But also, Mobile, Mo Mobile was very close, very close. And Marcos, thank you so much for being here. Lynette, thank you so much for being here. Um, <laughs> Let's read some comments. I see, uh, okay, so uh, Marcus Barrera says, K still the queen. Yeah, she is K. <laughs> K Beck says, no hay problema. Thank you. Thank you, K. <laughs> and Lynette says, how about alto as used in music? Alto, mm, like a song? or something like that, that has that word. I I don't know. I, I If someone knows, please uh, share. And Mi Pueblo, 
muy bien. That, mi pueblo says muy bien. Uh, Moses, slo, sl, yeah, Moses, uh, thumbs up. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for being here. Mi pueblo, alto is for a lower voice. Oh, okay, I see. Used in music, yeah. Alto is when, uh, if someone has a voice that is alta, alt, voz alta, is yeah, it's like a high pitch kind of voice, you know, like Mariah Carey, something like that, <laughs> you know, super high pitch voice. And Marcos Barrera says, alto, alto also means tall or high up. Yeah, when, uh, yeah, when a, When a building is high, you can say uh, uh, un edificio alto. Yeah, or when, uh, yeah, in general, something that is very high <laughs> or someone who is really tall. <laughs> Kate Beck says, muchas gracias. Yeah, Kate Beck, you are a champion. <laughs> Marcos Barrera, so maybe altos sing kind of high. Yeah, that's correct. Um, Colby, Colby, welcome, Colby. Can you talk in Spanish the whole time for the next crossword puzzle? That's interesting. Yeah, I could. Just let me know, anybody else, if you're interested, because I could do that. That's a good suggestion, Colby. I can do that, definitely. Thank you for suggesting that. Um, Mi pueblo, again, hey. <laughs> Lynette, thanks, Marcos. Okay, Marcos, Marcos says again, uh, sopranos sing higher though, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, just, yeah, just think about someone like Freddie Mercury. I think he, 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 his voice was very alta, you know, Freddie Mercury, um, Mariah. Yeah, I, I think that's the best example. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mi pueblo says, castratos even higher. Oh, okay. You're okay. You guys know about music. <laughs> Marcus says, I guess anything above, above tenor is considered to sing high. Okay. <laughs> okay. Marcus says, Hey, I agree with Colby. Okay, how about next cross crossword puzzle? I do that for the next crossword puzzle. Everything's going to be in Spanish. The definitions, the me talking, everything is going to be 100% Spanish. Okay, so that's going to be the next crossword puzzle. And uh, just stay tuned and you get to hit the bell icon and all the turn on all the notifications because that's how you can get notified every time I live stream. Okay. And that helps me a lot too. Uh, Lynette says, mi maestro, did you ever watch Tu, tu o Nadie? Tu o Nadie? Mm, no, no, I, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't, but I, I can look it up for sure. Um, Mobile says, I insist. I insist. Okay. Colby says, thanks. Mi pueblo. Alto is a low female voice, not high. Oh, okay. <laughs> Colby, you're welcome. Yeah, I, I can do that for the next crossword puzzle. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, K-Bag says, I agree with Colby. Two. Okay, I can do that. It's it's a deal. I'm gonna do that. Um, Marcus says Freddie Mercury had full mastery over like four octaves. Then man was a yeah, that man was a legend. I agree with you. I love Queen. Freddie Mercury was an awesome, awesome, talented musician for sure. I agree. Uh, Mobile Conan says okay. K Beg says Freddie. Uh, Freddy the best. Yes, Fred, I agree. I agree. Queen, like, man, I, I love their music. Lynette Giggs, much, mucho gracias, mi maestra. You're welcome, Lynette. Thank you for being here. And I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you for being here. I apologize again for my mistake. 
uh, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. But yeah, the next crossword puzzle is going to be in Spanish, 100% Spanish. So be prepared. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. Give this video a like, that helps me a lot. I had such a fun time with you guys. I love talking with you, interacting, and just doing this whole thing. Have a nice evening, have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Congratulations, Quebec.